Yeah. Which would be the brain's going to come out. The eyes or the head's going to open it. Yeah, because if you come out of the bottom of the
Welcome, Lindsay. Thank you. Good to have you back. All right, next is the board discussion of potential surveys for the vacant seats. Dr. Gregory. Uh, board members, there were some, um, you know, we, we've received a few applications to fill the vacant seat that is a result of Stacy's resignation. And we're all aware, uh, we have a policy that outlines the, the process to fill this vacant seat. And you can choose to do interviews uh, if, you, if you desire. I just thought it would be a good idea to put that on the agenda so that you can have that discussion and I can decide if you're going to do interviews. Um, and set a lot of date and time uh, so that I can verify the, the folks who apply and kind of set things in motion. Yeah. 
let everyone else know. Okay. All right, next is other, Dr. Baker. Uh, just as you may be aware, we had a district-wide professional development day today uh, that, that went extremely well. Um, in particular, I was pleased with the fact that we offered several sessions for our teachers so that to help them improve their performance in the classroom, but we also offered sessions for their direct benefit uh, as individuals. For example, there were sessions on KTRS, on the Living Well, um, Promise, things of that nature. Um, very pleased with, with how today went. So I just want to thank Michelle, Brittany, Caitlin, Rob, other than the, the other people, dozens of other people who played a hand in that. In particular, I want to recognize our technology staff uh, that seem to be everywhere all at once today. Uh, ensuring that everything ran smoothly um, and just very pleased with, with how today went. I've gotten a lot of feedback and it's all, all been positive. Um, just a quick reminder to the board that the regional KSBA meeting is rapidly approaching. Uh, if you uh, are interested in attending that, uh, please let Kate know as soon as you can because uh, we're, we're rapidly closing in on that date. Um, I'm also pleased to share that that we have 24 teachers at our elementary who have volunteered uh, for the Reading Academy's professional learning course through KDE. Um, and, and the purpose of these Reading Academies is, is to increase reading outcomes for elementary students by providing high quality job embedded professional learning about how students learn to read beginning in kindergarten. So this is just one more example of our teachers' willingness to go above and beyond uh, to, to help their kids. So very proud of those 24 teachers, and we'll be sharing that uh, with the community on and recognizing those folks on social media tomorrow. Um, and lastly, there, there is a yearbook there for each of you from our, from our yearbook department, and uh, I was asked to share their appreciation for the board's continued support uh, for, the, for their efforts. That's, that's all that. I'd just like to say that um, for those of you that have high school, you don't have high school, do you? Okay. Um, I talked to Nash, and he's going to talk about it more in September. Um, the Flex Focus, I think, is going to be a really good program for our kids. If you haven't heard anything about it, I think it's um, uh, they took some of the survey results um, where are some of our kids that feel like they had that one on one person to go to. Um, and so this Flex Focus teacher that they've been assigned to will travel with them, stay with them all the way through. So if you're a freshman, you'll have that teacher all the way through. And that's where they're going to um, talk about things going on in their lives. They're going to bring in the, the career focus pass, all that kind of stuff. So I think it's a really good thing for these kids. I was really excited to hear all the guys talk about that. So I know they're not here tonight. He's going to get more in the September meeting, but I didn't know what it was. So I was like, what is this? And so it's pretty exciting. And now I'm going to like ride on the seat and a couple of their schools are doing it as well. So I feel like that's a, I think that'll be good for our kids. So. Thanks to the high school staff and the students here for following the results of the survey and kind of looking outside the box for our kids to kind of give them that one-on-one -on -one they need. So, okay, next is the audience of citizens, and there are none. So we will move into recommended board motions. First is the approval of the minutes for the July 21st, 2022. First by Kyle. Discussions or questions? Is there a second? I'll make it. Second by David. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes for a Next is approval of the minutes from August 4th, 2022. Okay, there's my header. Discussions or questions? Is there a second? Maybe. Second by Kyle. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes for it. Next is approval of the superintendent's evaluation. Maybe. First by Kyle. Discussions or questions? Is there a second? We have this list of items that we were going to, like, did we read this in, or I don't know if we got an answer on that. We're supposed to read this into the record or part of the minutes or I think last year we just um, they were posted on the website on the website yeah yeah okay. that's all it has to be yeah is there a second I mean I my hand there all in favor all right motion passes for it next is superintendent's expense report approval of May 2022 expense report mm -hmm. discussion for questions is there a second Make it second by David. All in favor? Two. All opposed? Opposed? Okay, motion does. Next is 
is it approval of the July 2022 expense report? I make it. Or there. there are discussions or questions? Is there a second? Second by Kyle. All in favor? Aye. Motion passes. Four up. Next is approval of the treasurer report. Can we get first by Heather? Discussions or questions? Is there a second? Second by Kyle. All in favor? Motion passes. Four up. Next is the approval of the order of the treasurer, the bills. Any additional questions for Kevin? Is there a second? Second by David. All in favor? Motion passes for us. That just means your emails are really good. That's good. Next is the approval of the unaudited annual financial report, the AFR or FY 22. First by David. Discussions or questions? Is there a second? All in favor? A motion passes for it. Next is the approval of disposal of surplus property. First by Kyle, discussions or questions? Did you want to talk about it at all? Uh, I think I summed it up in the email. Chris is here if we had any specific questions, but in a nutshell, we had to destroy this bus in order to get the EPA rebate that was twenty. Was twenty thousand dollars for us? Uh, that we put towards the purchase of the bus that we just got, so we kind of had to do it, and we can't really, like, we couldn't sell that to somebody to bring around to cut, even if they put another engine in it, it's not usable, so uh, it's scrap material. Is there a second? Can we get second by Heather? All in favor? Motion passes for Since we're talking transportation, that was a nice post today. Oh, thank you. Oh, good one. Next is approval of the tax rate for Boone County properties and the Walker Road District for the 2022, which is unchanged. First by Heather. Discussion or questions? There a second. Second by Kyle. All in favor? Motion passes for it. Next is the approval rate for Kenton County properties in the Walker District of 2022, unchanged. First by Kyle. Discussion or questions? There a second. Certification of district wide special education teacher. Mm -hmm. 